Perry was saying, but it's not. It's um, it's a coloured pastel. So when I put the liquid on it, it, it just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Um, but I wish I had some uh, watercolour pencils for you. I know I've got some stuff. Where the heck? Oh, we've got Kerry's got her, um, her, her drawing for you. Oh yeah, I can just just about see it. That's it. That's what happens to it. It's it's great, isn't it? But just don't be careful that you don't put too much because um, that just looks like normal paper. Once um, you want something, oh, excuse the size of it, but it's it's big. This sort of stuff that's it's really heavy paper. And it means you can stick loads of water on it. So if it's not, you, you've got these scratchy pencil lines, and if it's not blending down, get some of this, and you can stick as much water on it as you like, and it won't, um, it won't ruin the paper. Because what will happen if you put too much water on that? It'll just dissolve and break through. You've got yeah. just that amount on it at the minute. It looks, it looks a lot on. Good one, well used. Considering you've never used it before, well done. I don't know if, if that's you, then you can go to your room and if not, you can put that. The other oh, thing that. while I'm while I'm here, um, try mixing it up. If you use one thing, but then try doing something else with it as well. So that one, oh, yeah. I don't know, um, no, it's fine. You paint watercolor paint, but then I've gone over it with uh, with ink. You've got quite a nice nice oh. result. Try mixing it up. There's no rules to say that you have to stick to the one thing that you've been drawing with. Mix it up. Try other things. And then, of course, I'll just try one more thing before the rest of you show me what you've done. Uh, someone mentioned charcoal a few weeks back. This is what charcoal does. It goes on really easily because it's really soft. And it's it just sort of blends away really really effective stuff and it's cheap. cheap real cheap you can even do it if you get yourself like a cocktail stick or a skewer and set fire to the end blow it let it burn away for a bit extinguish it let it cool down a bit and then draw with it it does exactly the same thing because that's all charcoal is so that's a good cheap way of doing charcoal but as i said charcoal's cheap anyway so i really recommend that but this is where i keep nicking my wife's hairspray because you don't want that to transfer off your page and stick to the other things or if you're in a book you know you don't want to draw your charcoal there put the next page down and all of that charcoal to go on to the next page like it has done there you see Aww. So you spray it with, um, you can get really expensive artist fixative spray. Hairspray does just the thing, you know, it's like 30p from Superdrug or something. Or mine I've had years and it's that proper, um, you know, remember the old Tesco value with just white with like the red word Tesco and then some blue stripes on it. Well, my shopping used <laughs> yeah. to be like that colour. <laughs> But you do, it doesn't have to be expensive. The branded artist stuff charge you a fortune when you just don't you don't need it. What do you see from market? It's well Very worth cool. getting shouted up by the way. <laughs> it is, yeah. We're just nipping into Superdrug, you know, it's which I'm gonna have to later to try and find some lipstick because I'm intrigued to see how lipstick works. Actually, <laughs> kind of. I mean I've I've not finished it, but it's um it's got quite a nice texture. Yeah. It kind of looks like um, that is nice. copying some lavender I've got over there. Um, yeah, it looks a bit like um, like wax crayon or oil pastel. Yeah, I bet it's um, water resistant as well, so you could get some weird results. Like um, Holly's got the wax candle, and I said if you put like watercolor paint or something over it, right, it probably wouldn't wouldn't dissolve into the water. That'd be really yeah. You've piqued my interest. I'm really interested to see <laughs> how this works. This is an old lipstick. I'm not using like one of my. This is one that you buy that you wish you hadn't bought. So, um, yeah. 
Did you buy it which you wish you hadn't bought? Hmm. Yeah, didn't wrong catalog once I got it at him. How have, how have you been getting on, Holly, with your uh, with your candle? Wow. Yeah, I think we can take pictures of the candle. Yeah. That's really good. Oh, yeah. He is a man who wants to be seen as fit and able. He's shared a couple of words there. He's doing something. Maybe a boat on that. Yeah. At the opposite side of the sun, because you, you, it's all about balancing what you're drawing. So if you've got the sea across the bottom, stick a sun up there and a boat down that bit. Because you put the boat over there, it looks like the painting might go woo, because all of your all of your bits are too heavy over that side. So we've put a boat there, kind of level it out. Oh, no. Anything else that's interesting to show you? Um, Oh, I know what I can show you. Something that I've been working on that I'm trying to sell at the moment. Ooh. So these are paintings on wood. This is like bits of a palette that I've um, taken apart. Oh. Oh. I'm turning them into um, bar signs, you see, so people can stick them outside. The moody cow. That one's the moody cow, yeah. <laughs> So all I did was I broke the wood down and uh, spray painted it with some priming paint and put the put the acrylic paint straight onto it and acrylic paint's quite cheap as well you can get it from the works I think for next to nothing um, and it, it comes out really well you get some really really funky results because of all the um, natural wood uh, knots and uh, where it's come apart you know the nail holes that's interesting. Yeah. So not only try your weird materials, but try drawing on something that maybe you wouldn't otherwise draw on. Cardboard yeah. is interesting because especially corrugated stuff that's got the, the lines that go down it. I haven't got any of that, otherwise I'd show you something like that. But uh... yeah. Well, the point of this session was meant to be you can draw with anything on anything. Yeah. and just experiment and uh, i hope to come back in a few weeks time and uh, you've all tried something something different something that maybe they you wouldn't otherwise have done yeah i think maybe in some way shape or form we could still kind of carry on the art until you're back um yeah. even if we're practicing what we've already learned or yeah, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, I've got some, because um, I, I write um, for online courses and things as well. So I've got some video material of like me doing some drawings from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. If I uploaded those to the Facebook group, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe you could follow along. Well, if you send them to me via email, I can, I can always play them that way, can not I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be brilliant. I There's think no talking or anything over really... it. So I'm sorry. It's just uh, it's just me drawing. Occasionally, I might cough, or <laughs> you might get scratches from the from the pencils on paper. But yeah, I've got a couple of a couple of videos that I can uh, I can send you. I think oh. everyone has really really appreciated you doing this and enjoyed it. It's been really fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. That's why I didn't want to do too much this week because I knew that I wasn't going to be here for. I don't know when. We it. <laughs> that's, that's turned out really well. So that has really smudged on the pot, hasn't it? That's... Yeah. If I if I put it straight with the lipstick, it didn't smudge, so I had to kind of put it on the finger and then just smudge it quick. Ah. Yeah, okay. it's uh, different, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we could cool. do a still life, actually. We could all perhaps have a flower um, and have a little sketch of the flower and you know in between um seeing you so yeah um, a bit of clarice cliff stuff and a bit of still art and stuff yeah one of the videos is a still life um so i'll, I'll send you that yeah although yeah. It, it was always the one thing i didn't like 
draw for him. <laughs> Continue, still life, still life, still life. It's, it's <laughs> kind of boring, enough. isn't it? But... I've just sent you my email address, Tom. Real, I've just got that. Yeah. Found. They might be quite big, so I'll probably send them through um, WeTransfer or something. Yeah, yeah. If you WeTransfer, we transfer them through, through Steve if you want, and you can always shrink them down, can't you? Yeah. Put them in a zip folder or something. Yeah, or if you, if you want to put them on Google Docs, you can Google Docs them over to me. Okay. Will do. I'll see you. Yeah, that's probably easier. I'll upload them to my Google Drive and then share it with you directly. Yeah. So that was a Gmail, wasn't you've it? You've got an email address, so you've got, you can just send, you can send them straight to me. Cool. I'll do that. I'll copy that now in case I accidentally close the flipping thing down. Three guess he's in who I'm, who I'm, who I'm a big fan of. <laughs> my email address being Bart underscore J underscore Simpson. Ah, you're a fan of Jessica Simpson as well. Bart Simpson. Oh. Bart from you, Jojo Simpson. <laughs> Voiced by Nancy Carfright. Yes, from very well she does it as well. She does, yeah. Funny story, I mean, I'll stop recording because I don't think this is really good for recording.